Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Kyle Kleckner. Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us on your Tuesday morning. Heading out the door might not be a bad idea to grab a coat. These temperatures are not as bad as they could be in the 20s and 30s this morning. In the dry city, starting off at around 32. We'll see lots of sunshine, a little wind today. Though. That's going to be the big story, all that, all that wind. Those temps will climb into the low 40s by the lunch hour. Eventually, we'll see temps climb into the low to mid 40s for a lot of us this afternoon before cooling off back in the 30s. By the time we eat supper, live look now at Grand Island Revere, a wireless camera there. 37 degrees as we start off our Tuesday. A little breezy, though. North northwest winds sitting at 21 miles an hour, gusting even stronger than that at times, too. So definitely a breezy start and kind of a chilly start with those winds out there, keeping those temperatures pretty well in check. At least right now, they'll continue to do that for today. Just 28 right now, North Platte, a little bit warmer. Ward, you're sitting at 35, as is Holders and McCook. It is a little bit warmer to our south and east areas this morning. 45 right now at Lake and those temperatures they will increase this afternoon once again likely 40s and some low 50s in the southwest areas this afternoon wind speeds they are strong right now roughly 10 to 20 miles an hour a little stronger in around the tri cities Lincoln also a little bit stronger there in your neck of the woods. Otherwise, we are seeing some gusts around that 30 mile an hour mark. Those winds could be gusting up to 40 at times again this afternoon. So those winds will stick around for a good portion of the day. They will eventually subside and relax later on as their high pressure system moves on in. But definitely a chilly morning for some. Feels like 19 right now at Ogallala. A lot of 20s, those wind chills are at right now. Some 30s to our southeast, those wind chills, of course, keeping the temperatures a little bit feels it seems like it's a little bit colder out there otherwise there are a few clouds to our southeast right now cold front off to our south and east that pushed through last night high pressure building in behind that. that's going to be the big story for today as it does do that those winds will eventually subside this afternoon and evening we see pretty calm winds for the start of tomorrow tomorrow by far our nicest day of the week temperatures in the 60s but in the cold front that comes through tomorrow night early thursday morning and as a result, those temperatures, they will be dropping for us on our Thanksgiving. Temperatures back into the 30s and 40s by then. But enjoy today, 45, a little sunny, a little cool. Those gusty winds out of the north and west to kind of keep things a little chilly at times, maybe. But 25 for a low tonight, clear. Those winds do relax. Nice to see that after a windy day, but winds pick up a little bit tomorrow out of the south and west. Hence, those temperatures going to be much nicer for us. 62, definitely the nicest day of the next week. Temps today, 40s and 50s to our south and west again. We'll be seeing temperatures tonight, mainly 20s out there. Might not be surprising to see a few teens early tomorrow morning, but tomorrow afternoon, definitely take advantage of it. 50s to our east, 60s, maybe even low 70s for the rest of us. Temps the next seven days, though, they go on a roller coaster back down to 40 on Thanksgiving. Even colder yet, Friday and Saturday, and upper 20s and low 30s for us as we see our chance of snow work its way into the picture here. In fact, don't tell us right now. Look a little bit higher off to our west, although I do think there's a good chance a lot of us might see a little bit of snow. Of course, a lot of time from now until then for those totals, but the temperatures try warming up once that system this weekend clears out back into the low 40s by next week. So if you got travel plans on Friday, pay attention, Sarah. Yeah, definitely. Download the app now. For sure. Yeah, we'll be tracking that early all week. So. All right.